obviously we play indoors you've got a pretty tight window there nine feet wide 15 foot tall crossbar we don't have anything like that set up out here at Glen Kernan. How do you practice when we're outdoors so often? Well, every day we come out here, I practice mostly on my form, my technique and stuff. But then when we do our kicking uh, section, they have a scissor lift over there that's about eight feet wide and they lift it up. That's where they do the camera shots for the whole practice. So we kick into that. So it keeps me accurate for when we get inside. So obviously the important things, keeping it straight and getting distance. Uh, do you do you mark it off as if you're in a, in a real game situation when you practice, or yeah, we, how do you judge how tall it is? We do everything live. We The field's all aligned, so we just go back the same way. We go seven yards back from the snap, and we just hit it the same way. We just try to get everything the same as we would in the game time, so when it comes, we're ready to go. Now, a couple weeks ago, we saw you have quite a few tackles there. Do you run down during uh, during practice and, and get some hits on the guys and talk a little bit of trash? <laughs> I do, but I stick. I stay my distance away from them because these are pretty big boys out here. But I do whatever I have to during a game. So, all right, well, Marco, we appreciate your time. We'll see you on the field next week. Thanks a lot, guys. Here with our center, Big Randy Degg. Randy, big game coming up against Georgia. Uh, I know we've talked about going up against a former teammate Little John before. You handled him pretty well this last game uh, when he came up to see Best Field. Is there anything he's going to throw at you different this week? Yeah, he's probably going to bring a little more effort, I would say, this time. Um, you know, they're trying to get a win. They're a couple games back in the division, and we're trying to stay out front, so hopefully we can just get a good win. Now, we don't have walls out here, you know, big grass field. How do you make the transition when you're practicing outdoors as opposed to playing indoors? Well, you know, as an offensive lineman, it's pretty much the same. You know, the, the walls don't really affect us, and if anything, the ground's softer, easier on our joints. But, uh, you know, our receivers are disciplined, and they, they run the same routes, and we have we have lines we stay within, so. How do you attribute being able to keep Aaron upright? Uh, you know, we're just more familiar as a whole team, as a unit. You know, the ball comes out a little quicker, having the second receivers again, and, you know, Coach Crafts really helped us out with our technique, and uh, we're just becoming better ball players, you know, as a whole unit. All right, well, I appreciate the time, Randy. Best of luck in Georgia. All right, thank you. Here with Luke Wilson, head athletic trainer for your Jacksonville Sharks. Luke, we play inside. We've been practicing outside. Do you notice any difference with the way that you have to treat guys uh, in terms of, of medical treatment or, or ice packs that, that makes a big difference between the two? Well, the biggest difference that I've noticed with us practicing outside is the soft grass is a lot easier for these guys uh, for their feet. It's a lot more cushion than if we were inside on an on a artificial turf. Uh, so as far as injury aspect goes, uh, the grass is a lot better for us to get out here. Plus the weather's beautiful. Um, makes, it, makes it a little more difficult as far as hydration goes. So that's the one part that we really have to step up and make sure that these guys are hydrated when we're outside in this heat. Right, appreciate your time, Luke.